Now I'd like to bring in Congressman Devin Nunes, Congressman from California, by the way. Congressman, I just thought the monologue about Joe Biden may not be fit for office. What do you say? Well, look, it kind of seems like he's an avatar and you even have Harris out talking about a Harris-Biden administration, which is quite peculiar, I think. And look, I think that uh, Mr. Biden, former vice president, he's lost a step or two and he really needs to come out and I think tell the American public, you know, what his health status is. Interesting. Interesting. He said he would do it once he was elected president. Maybe uh, maybe we'd like to hear about that prior. So uh, let's talk a little bit. You wrote a book so. called Countdown to Socialism. Um, and, and, I, I, and this kind of relates to me because now we're in the midst of trying to figure out if we're going to provide more funding for people who aren't able to work because of COVID, COVID relief. There are those on the libertarians like me who say the more you do this, the more you're encouraging people not to work. What's the status of the COVID relief? And frankly, what do you think of it? Well, look, I would like to make sure that we keep our first responders going. I think that's one of the keys here. Uh, a lot of the hospitals, people don't realize, uh, they were really running in the, in the red. They weren't operating, and a lot of people didn't get the surgeries that they actually needed. Uh, at the time, and so a lot of hospitals have lost money. That's really one of my first priorities to ensure, because there's no way a lot of these hospitals can, can come out of this. Uh, in terms of the long-term debt, I think you're exactly right, and that's why it's so important uh, that we get everybody back to work, back to school, get the economy going again. Uh, we're learning how to treat COVID. Uh, also at the same time, there should be some vaccines on the way, but I don't think we should count on the vaccines, Eric. I think we should focus on treatment, and I always, I always from the very beginning of this, if, if you have an underlying condition, I think those are the people that are most vulnerable in our society. We need to protect them and you need to protect yourself. Congressman, I was in your state. I was in uh, San Diego and Los Angeles uh, this week and, and I noticed mm -hmm. you know, with the wildfires just, rage, you know, just ravaging the, the, the state, the West Coast, you look up in the, the sky, you could see an outline of a sun, but it was so thick, thick with smoke and smog. Yeah. What, is this a, this fire, this fire situation that keeps happening? Are we talking climate change or are we yes. talking forest mismanagement? Well, look, that's kind of why I wrote this book, Countdown to Socialism. It's really kind of about my time, not only in the last four years, but what I've watched and witnessed in California uh, and watching how it's a one-party state. And you get to a point where you're just dealing with complete disinformation. Uh, and look, the fact is the, the Democrats and the socialists have continued to uh, worship at this altar of climatology. Uh, continuing to promote global warming. But look, let's talk facts here. Uh, we used to have a vibrant timber industry in California. We used to, have, we used to allow public grazing for, with cattle that would be on the hills. And what's happened here is we're not grazing as much as we used to. Uh, and all the timber industry for the most part has been eliminated. And right in my backyard, in the two counties that I represent, we've burned almost 300,000 acres. Uh, and we haven't been able to see the sun in my district for a week. And this is caused because the access roads are, are all overgrown. Uh, trees are continuing to go, underbrush is undergrowing. And if, if you wanna manage the forest, you have to treat it, these are living things. Uh, and you have to treat them like a garden. Uh, and that's really the key. And these politicians that come out, including Harris and Biden that are running for, for president and the governor of California, Newsom, they continue to blame global warming. It's just. It's just pure fantasy what, what and fiction. Could, what fact could, of the matter is they, they booted everybody what off could, the land. We have about, about a minute left. What could Newsom do, Governor Newsom, Gavin Newsom, do to stop this from, from being a, an annual or, or even biannual event in California of just the whole countryside on it's, fire? It's, it's, total, it's really simple. A couple of years ago on my podcast, I had on and I interviewed uh, some of the old people that used to work in the forest. And they said, first and foremost, we have to get the timber uh, companies back in to California. And then we have to go back up through all the access roads because fires aren't new, lightning strikes aren't new, but when you can't access them and you can't break them and you can't do burn backs when the fires start, they go from smaller fires into what you're seeing, catastrophic fires. And, and what they told me, this was a couple years ago, if you start today, which we still haven't started, it would take five years just to get those access roads back to, back to work and back to normal. So that's where you have to start. Right. Uh, and then you go in and like I said, treat it like a garden, like growing plants. All right, we're gonna leave right there. Congressman Devin Nunes, appreciate your time again. His book is called Countdown to Socialism. Socialism, I'm sorry. Thank you, Thank sir. You. Thanks, Eric.
And Sinclair is also teaming up with the Salvation Army to help those on the West Coast affected by those wildfires we just spoke of. Donate now to the Sinclair Cares Western Wildfires Relief Fund. You'll find a link on your local Sinclair station's website. The company will match up to $25,000 in donations.